Hi guys, um, I'm vlogging about my different bakya or dumb game. So, it's her 11th day with me. And this is how she looks like. Still okay, but she developed some brown leaves here. As you can see, brown spots. She has in this leaf here and I think this one, one small spot here and oh here see <clears throat> she didn't have those when she arrived but i figured out that maybe it was because she was exposed with too much cold but i think that she recover uh because look Oh, uh, here she has a. Uh, oh, you can see she has a new leaf coming. See, so cute. So there. Let's see in another week. Bye. So guys, this is an update of my dump cane. So after a few days, here she is. She still has brown leaves, but I think she's getting better. Look. She's grown so much since she arrived. Let's see. I just moved her to a new position. Far from the uh, AC. Then I put a humidifier near her. So she gets some moisture that she wants. And I think she's liking it because she has given me four leaves already. This was, was the first. Look. Then this is the second leaf. Then the third one is right here. See? Cutie. And then there's a fourth one down here. There. So that's her update. So hopefully she will fully recover from the brown spots. Mm. And there. So oh uh, she's getting crowded here. So do you guys suggest I'll repot her or what? Comment down below. See? Is she ready to be repotted? What do you think? Hi guys, this is my update since the last video that I took of her. And this is her situation now. As you can see here, she's a bit okay. But when you go to the other side, you'll see that the brown spots have spread. See on the overlapping leaves it has spread the brown spots uh -huh. there you go you see so i'm starting to suspect that this is not just because she's cold but she got fungus and now i'll try to save her because uh, i don't want to lose my first plant so let's see uh, i'm planning to cut her infected leaves and then uh, we'll spray some fungicide after so stay tuned on what will happen to her and hopefully i'll be able to save her because look she's pretty and since i got her she developed already four new leaves so i really really just want to save her okay so stay tuned on how I will cut the infected areas, okay? Okay guys, I'll be using scissors and uh, gloves with plastic gloves inside for double safety and we'll cut. Okay, I'm sorry babies, but I want to keep you alive so I'll just try to save you.
over in the next few days. Okay. So, wait, I will show you the leaves that I got. leaves here 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 and can you see the brown spots and here this is the most damaged leaf I think it started with this leaf okay so, oh, in doing so, don't forget to put gloves. In my case, I also have a mask. Be extra careful because this is a poisonous plant, okay? The sap is very poisonous. Uh, put it here. And I'm with this plant now. So this is how she looks like now. <laughs> She's getting bald on the side. But still, she has plenty of leaves, so hopefully she'll survive. And then I'll show you how to make homemade fungicide in the next episode. And we'll see if I can save her. But for now, here's how she looks like. There. Okay. Okay, this is my homemade fungicide and I'm going to apply it now to my baby. Let's see here. I will continue on applying this every four to seven days and see if there will be improvement in the plant. Uh, then I'll update you guys. Uh, but for now, what do you think? Uh, should I repot her? Is she already crowded in there? Uh, please comment down below and help me out. I'd really appreciate it. And that's all. Thanks for watching.